Hello everyone, it's MD Tech here of another video. Today I will be doing a demonstration of performing a format and clean install of Windows 10. Now even though this is Windows 7 right now, the computer that we are currently on, the method demonstrated in this video applies to all versions of Windows. If you are upgrading from Windows XP or you are performing a clean install on a fresh new hard drive, this method would apply. So at this point we're assuming that you already have a bootable DVD or CD of Windows 10. The ISO file is available on the Microsoft web page freely. You just need to have a valid product key when installing Windows 10. So before you get going just make sure you have a valid Windows 10 product key because the clean install is different than the upgrade. It's very important to note that there's a way to clean the system once you've upgraded which is a free upgrade for Windows 7 and Windows 8.1 users for the first year. But if you're looking to perform a clean install from the get-go, the method I'm showing, you will need to have a Windows 10 product key. So basically, we already have the DVD in our optical drive. We're going to restart the computer. Click on the Escape key. Under the boot menu, I'm going to go down to CD-ROM. I'm going to select that. Press any key to boot from the CD or DVD. I'm going to click on a key. Okay, so now after clicking on CD slash DVD, now depending on your computer's manufacturer, the key might be different. I was just tapping on the escape key to get to that menu. Now we see we have a Windows set up here. Now definitely install the correct language, uh, time and currency format, and keyboard or input keyboard or input method. Make sure it's all your localized region. Click on next. You want to install now. There's a repair now option as well, but we're just going to install Windows 10. Okay, so like I said earlier, we have to enter a product key if we're going to do a clean install. Now you want to click on next. You want to make sure you agree to the licensing terms, the end user license agreement. Click on next. Now what type of installation do you want? Now we're going to do a custom installation which will do a clean install. So we're going to select custom. Now we see our main hard drive here, drive zero partition one. We haven't created a separate partition on the computer so we're just going to install, there only should be one drive on here. If there's, there's multiple drives, like let's say you have other devices or external hard drives plugged in, just go of what logically makes the most sense. If you see a drive with 500 gigabytes compared to one with 10 gigabytes, I mean just use the one that makes more sense. Put it on the 500 gigabyte hard drive. So we're going to click on next. Now click on OK. Right now it is installing Windows and I will be back once this process is done. Alright everyone, the setup has moved on to the next stage and now Windows is getting ready. Okay, so now we have a prompt here, get going fast. We can either install using Express Settings or we go through Customized Settings. I would highly recommend using Customized Settings and picking and choosing what you want to share with Microsoft. In my personal opinion, you'd be surprised with what Microsoft is enabling by default. I would suggest using Customized Settings going through that but I'm just going to use Express Settings to keep this review moving. Alright, so right now it's in the final steps of installing Windows 10 and um, I will be right back. Okay, so now we are prompted with who owns this PC. Most individuals that are watching this video are going to say I own it and click Next. Now it's just personalizing some more settings and now we can create a Microsoft account. Uh, we can skip this step 
and that's what I'm going to do. Um, in this review, I'm going to skip this step and instead create a local account. I'm just going to do test machine. Okay, so now the computer has restarted successfully. We have Windows 10, uh, clean format installed. Everything is good to go. Please ignore the system time in the bottom right corner. The whole process only took about 30 minutes or so, so very quick in my opinion in terms of installation, especially when comparing to installing Windows 7 or Windows 8, which I've noticed to take considerably longer, upwards of an hour or more. And as always, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like this video and want more, please subscribe for more content in the future. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.